do we meet? So we met on outreach. So basically we do literature evangelism. I was already doing it, but Shavert joined the team. And without my knowledge, I just seen her one day. I just saw her one day on, on the minibus. And I was like, who's that girl? Never seen her before. But she was talking to another guy who's actually a married man. She was just having a conversation. And I was getting a bit jealous. But I did, I did, yeah, being honest, but um, I was thinking, why am I jealous? I just thought, well, that guy's married. Why don't you give me a chance to talk to this girl? <laughs> this is all we just go. I don't even know how to start this video. So. Hi, everyone. I don't know what I'm doing. Hi, everyone. Hi, everyone. Hi, The next question is, how did you both know you were meant to be? God made it abundantly clear. I did not know that we were even meant to date. And every other woman I dated, I remember how he would, he would grieve the Holy Spirit in me and make it very obvious that it wasn't them. And with you, he's never done that. And we, I mean, we've had all sorts of confirmations through scripture, um, lots of synchronized studies. I'd be looking at one thing, she'd be looking at the same thing. I had no knowledge of it. We yeah. talked to each other at the end of the day and it, and it synchronized. So we just knew God was in the midst of it. You had dreams about me. She was telling me things. I never told her. I never told, I've never mentioned it to you and you were mentioning it to me. So God was revealing things about me in dreams to you. Yeah. And uh, also showed you that I was to be your husband. Remember? I do. <laughs> of course you remember. <laughs> and that was, yeah, that was interesting. You know, as Christians, we're supposed to do things differently. Um, so yeah, so yeah. we want to do things properly, basically. Mm, mm. I mean, I've both, we've both been in the world, haven't we, to a degree? Yeah. In terms of been out clubbing, you know, we've done the normal things that any sort of guy or girl would have growing up. Yeah. Um, but you know, you get in the same cycle of getting hurt, you know, um, or make up, break up all the time, and who wants that heartache, like, yeah. you know? And then, you know, when you find God, He will lead you to the person he has for you according to his will to fulfill his purpose in your life so you really you 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 to surrender your will in every aspect of life as a christian and that can be tough sometimes but you've got to trust him and that's what faith is isn't it and then he yeah. shows you he knows our hearts better than we know ourselves because man looks on the outward appearance but god looks on the heart yeah certainly mm. so that's really the, the answer to the question guys we we didn't know we were meant for each other until god made it clear mm. and he did that through different ways he confirmed it uh through his word confirmed it through dreams um mm. yes god still speaks through dreams mm. um he confirmed it um you know just in ways that we could not the study doubt yeah, yeah and ignore you felt confident to go ahead and propose and i felt confident mm. enough to say yes again after prayer and fasting. yes yes because we yeah. had god's confirmation we both decided that we were going to give into god's will obviously when you grow up you have your own idea of what you want as a person right you have your idea what of you think you want what you think you want <laughs> right but when God chooses for you, I think God gave me the example of Isaac and Rebecca in the Bible mm, and um, how he was involved in choosing. And actually, their marriage was the happiest in the Bible, um, Isaac and Rebecca. And that's because God chose for them, mm. each other. And God gave me that scripture even before he made it clear that he wanted us to mm. get together. The mm. Lord was just trying mm. to tell me that I'm able to still join hearts through my providence and through prayer mm. and that was confirmation to me god was mm. saying that i am in the middle of this and i am bringing mm. you two together and it'll be for my glory mm. and from there we just said well if god has said yes then who are we to say no right <laughs> so um yeah we just and as we've been getting to know each other we see more and more why god has put us yeah. together right <laughs> More, yeah. more alike, more than, more than we think. Yeah. yeah, a lot more than we initially thought. Yeah, so... <laughs> trust, trust God. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We've, we've, 
Let's it's go. you know, trust and obey. It says what when we walk with the Lord. Are you want me to sing now? In the light <laughs> of this world, what a the glory He sheds on our way. When we do His good will, He abides with us still. And with all who will trust and obey, trust and obey, for there's no other way to be happy in Jesus, but to trust and obey. Amen. <laughs> Yeah, so that's she never what told we had me we're to do. do. <laughs> so that was that was that was that was improvised. It's definitely that, improv. That was um, but yeah, so we have to trust and obey, and that's uh, yeah. that's. There's no other way to be happy in Jesus, yeah. really. We we found there that isn't. out ourselves. No, no. Um, so yeah, we'll keep trusting Surrender him as he leads us. Mm. Mm. Amen. <laughs> so the next question says, "How long have you both been dating?" That is a very interesting question. I don't know if you want to like. <laughs> How to explain because um, we met in november last year right mm. but, so it depends when you want to count it from yeah dating how many people say when they're little don't they will you go out with me you yeah. know when they're a little boy or girl but you know as adults it, it doesn't always happen exactly like that and, no. um you know you might get a question eventually is so what are we Oh, mm. that horrible question when you ah. oh, listen I, I can't mm. do that like literally <laughs> so glad that mm. that's over yeah Big time. Honestly. Um, I don't know how many months. I don't know. Okay, I'm, I'm going I'm to take this say? one then. What do you want to say? Let me. Because <laughs> I kept count, okay? Oh, <laughs> right. okay, okay. Okay, so we met in November. I mean, I remember the engagement date. I'll not forget that. Okay, May the 17th. Yeah. I, I know you remember that one day. But, but this question is <laughs> it's about a man thing. Go on, go on then. <laughs> okay, so we met November 2020. So that's last year. November. I remember when we met then. Yes. Okay. And then we we were talking throughout then, just as friends, yeah. but it was March mm. 2021 that we got God's confirmation that he wanted us to unite. Yes, yes. because you write March. a diary of your dreams, so I you will do. remember that date. Of course. But yes, it was around March. I remember it was a it new, was new year. Yeah. yeah. Um, the beginning so of March. <laughs> no. So beginning of March. Beginning yeah. of March. And then you proposed in May. There we go, guys. Right. <laughs> Don't play around with them. Don't no. play around with hearts. <laughs> okay, yeah. so that that's that question. Only if you're certain. Only if you're certain. Yeah. Um, I think we're we're old enough as well, and we've kind of had experiences dating. Mm. It's not like we're expecting that we'll have a perfect um, marriage or relationship, no. um, but we know that as long as we have God at the centre, we'll be able to. Get through, through whatever, yeah, yeah, exactly. challenges and things yeah. like that. So, we're leaning on Christ mm, as it. our anchor. <laughs> um, Always. and the next question is, How has both family reacted to your engagement? Um, obviously, a bit like they were like, Are you sure you guys aren't rushing it? Why don't you guys live together for a little while first? No. But I thought that's not what God wants, God wouldn't approve of us living together before we marry. It can be quite dangerous if you understand yeah. fornication and what that is. Yeah. The Christians on this channel will, will understand that what well, that is hopefully. We're still learning obviously, you know, we're not perfect, no. but we do want to do things the way that God would approve of, you know, by the time we go to the altar. Mm. We want to be sure that God is there with us and that he will help us make our vows as honestly as we possibly can. Mm. So everything for the right season, you know, the right time. Yeah. Mm. My family been supportive. To a certain degree. <laughs> what about like, your family? Yeah, they're, they're fairly supportive. supportive. Yeah, yeah, I think so. I think they're the same sort of questions. Just are you sure? Yeah, again, traditions. They're asking, oh, you're not, you've not done the ring, you've not done this or that, or you're not doing yeah. this or that. Mm. Um, as like with your family wanting to do certain African traditions, and if they cross biblical um, principles, principles. Thank you. And that's where you have to draw the line if you're a true Christian. Um, some yeah. might not be anything wrong with doing it, but um, mm. I think you've got a question. That's the Holy Spirit each step of the way. And 
Yeah, so, you know. We've had some challenges with the family. But right? they've, been, they've been a lovely, you know. Yeah, they've, they've both been lovely. They've been lovely, yeah. But I think they just, they just don't understand generally. us to a certain degree because, nah. because we're doing everything by God's word. And if you're not understanding yeah. God's word, then you won't really understand some of, some of our mm. decisions. So I think that's normal with any couple anyway. I think people always have their challenges with their families. Yeah. So we have had that. We have to be honest and say that. But in general, our families have been supportive. My family have been wanting me to marry for the longest time because they, they say I'm getting older. You know, you're nearly 30. Where's this husband? Well, I think so, my family were wondering. Is this guy still <laughs> single? You know, what's yeah. going on? He, he can't keep a girlfriend or something. Right. But no, it's because if it's not from God, I don't want it. That's <laughs> Simple it. as. Yeah. Why, why mess around? Why? It shouldn't take you years either to, to know. Yeah. Um, if there's doubt and uncertainty there like that for such a long time no and in fact doubt and uncertainty won't it won't be there you might have the initial are you sure lord but the more you, when you fast and pray it will give you a clear answer and that's what he did with us he did you know yeah um mm. and we, you can't just go off fancy and emotion it's, it's deeper it's much deeper love you know it those should. play a part but the way the world does it is very materialistic mm. isn't it it's all very, it's a lot of it's based on the outward appearance and um being honest you know sexual relations and things like things like that and so god's way is um, a firm foundation for friendship before any of the other things really come into play especially sexual relations after, yeah. you, after marriage according to mm. yeah so yeah our families have um been supportive to a certain degree but obviously we had to draw the line at the suggestion to live together before oh, there we go. you know yeah. so we had to draw the line at that so so um, we took from our families the best advice we could um and we've taken from god's word the best advice because really the best counsel comes from god's word yeah. but obviously we learn from experiences and our family have had experiences to share with us that's true um, and they mean well yeah and we know they, well. we know they mean well yeah, yeah and we've, ta- we've taken their wisdom you know as far as they they can share with us yeah and um, we've considered that and we've taken God's word as well, which is really our main guide and counsel for everything. For everything. Because it was as singles. Yes. And now it is together. It is together. Know, that's the only thing that, that never changes. It should no. never, ever change. No. Mm. So we're grateful for our family support, definitely. And the next question, I think this one's so the last one. me. Yeah, it's the last one, actually. Just will your channel direction change? Um, I think it already has massively, you know, from mm. the start, because... Um, my channel lately has been more about talking about God and sharing about my mm. journey and talking about how he's um, been working in my life personally. Mm. I think the only difference is that it's not just my life anymore, but it's our life. So you probably see Danny more. Um, and the direction of my channel has always been to give glory to God. Mm. So that won't change. That will still be the case. I think Danny will just be like... <laughs> you know just be Danny yeah yeah of course I was gonna say you would be that person that completes the channel so you've just come to complete you know the channel yeah. and the threefold cord that is not easily broken yeah. so yeah. yeah that's all it is better than one. yeah it's just a completion of what mm-hmm. God had started but yeah those are all the questions I hope that this has been helpful to someone in some way you know if you're mm-hmm. thinking about choosing a partner you don't know what mm. to do, where to go, or you're in a bad relationship, or you know you just don't know how to move forward mm. with finding the one. I think the best advice that we can give is put God first. Yeah, always. that's it. Put mm. God first always, and not just theoretically, but practically. Mm. You know, practically put God's word first. Mm. I mean, like start to practice what God mm. says. Um, exactly. Start to do what God says, and then He can lead you day by day and step mm. by step. And uh, the Scripture says, "Seek ye first the kingdom, kingdom of, of heaven, God, yeah, and His righteousness." That's it. And His righteousness. So that means character transformation. Yeah. And all shall be added unto you. It's Amen. not just go to church on a Sunday, go to church yeah. on a, sat- a Saturday, go read your Bible five minutes, go pray at the end of the day, and say, "Sorry, I did this or that." It's deeper than that. It needs to be a whole yeah. life trans- transformation. Mm. But you know, God's patient. He does it step by, step by step with us. And I came completely from not having a religious background to where I am now, you know. Mm. So, I'm by God's grace. Yeah, yeah amen. And, and I think once you start walking God's way as well, guess what? He will bring you to those like-minded people. Mm. And he will bring you to groups Support and networks. circles. Yeah, yeah where definitely. you can meet people 
that mm -hmm. are have the same mindset and the same goal which mm. is to work for christ live for christ and follow his word really. yeah, yeah yeah and prepare prepare for his soon return god can mm. unite hearts today he's still doing it yeah and he can do that did for us yeah <laughs> he certainly did and he can do it for anyone you know he can do it for who seeks and wants his guidance so mm. yeah i think that's what we'll say um is there anything else you wanted to add babe? Mm. Um, i don't think so no, no? Yeah, okay. Hope that answers all your questions. Yeah, we hope it answers your questions. You're taking enough of your time. I know. I think. <laughs> yeah, we will uh, keep <clears throat> sharing our journey and we'll let you guys know how things go with the wedding planning. Um, and when God opens the way, I think it'll be nice to share that with you guys as well so it can be a blessing to you as well. Yeah, if you guys have any more questions or any prayer requests, things like that, just leave them in the comment section. And um, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and... Click and subscribe. Yeah. <laughs> Something like that. Something like that, yeah. And subscribe, that's it. So what? And, um, and comment, right? Yeah. And like, comment, and subscribe. Is that the one? Yes. Like, comment, subscribe. There that's it. And, you know, just come along on this journey to Zion. Because that's where we're going. You know, we're marching to Zion. Should we break into song again? We're marching <laughs> to no, Zion. I don't <laughs> beautiful, beautiful Zion, we're marching up to the That goes high. Beautiful city of God. Okay, so that's my limit sound on, on the height. Oh, yeah. Scale, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so come, come, we that love the Lord. Yeah. Let our joys be known. You know, let's, let's join together and journey to Zion. <laughs> I hope you join the family as we journey together. But stay blessed and take care of yourself. See you next time. Bye. Bye.